Hello, this is PJ and this is a 30 day lead code challenge in PHP easy uh, challenge number one. So here we are on leadcode.com website and we navigate into problems and we are selecting easy problems and now I'm gonna choose one of the problems um, maybe just start from the, the first one um, I haven't looked at uh, the problems before so I don't know what is it about and I'm gonna I have selected PHP because that's the programming language I'm gonna be using for uh, this challenge I'm gonna edit this uh, video, but you can see the time uh, that the actual time that's actually going to take me to solve this challenge in the uh, in the corner. So okay, so let's start. Let's have a look what the problem is about. Uh, given an array of integers uh, and an inter and an integer target return indices of the two numbers such as such that they add up to target you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice you can return the answer in any order okay so after reading this uh, I'm still not quite sure uh, what it's about, so let's have a look at uh, examples. Uh, so we have an array here of nums in the target 9, so it's going to output 0 uh, and 1 because nums 0 plus nums 1 equals to 9. Okay, mm, and then let's have a look at the second one and three two four target six one and two yeah that's six and three and three target six okay let's look at constraints uh, only one valid answer exists okay so what we're probably gonna have to do is uh, loop through the array first so let's start from for loop we're gonna start somewhere so let's see uh, h less than uh, number of uh, elements in the array okay so we're gonna loop through and now let's create variable sum which is going to be zero to start with uh, so and then let's um, and we probably let's try to do it this way create variable number one and the number two okay so let's assign number one uh, the element of the array so h and then we'll create another loop for the second number so we're going to be looping through each element of the first one and each element uh, the second then the second one uh, so let's do this like an I I I and then number two um, and what we also gonna do is is create like an index actually I'm not sure if that is necessary but uh, let's let's do it that way to start with maybe we can then rectify the code after uh, k 
Okay, so this is gonna be our uh, nubs. I and then if number one and number two if that equals a target then we have a winner uh, and then our index is gonna be index one it's gonna be eight, uh, h and number two index gonna be i and then i think if we break here should stop this loop uh, yeah well actually let's see if we can break two levels and so let's see break two yeah okay so we can break two so it should stop both loops and then we can return return array of number one index and number two index okay that sounds it's probably not ideal um, code so we will try to rectify it shortly uh, but let's first run the code and see yeah it looks like uh, it looks like the solution has been accepted uh, yeah and then for the test case we can go to the test case now and then change it so let's change this to this second example from here uh, and our target should be six and let's try to run the code uh, run the code again wrong answer okay right yeah okay because what we need to do we need to still cover for we can't use the same element twice uh, okay so let's see how we can uh, do that okay i think the best way we can do that that comes to my mind is that if h equals to i which means this is the same element of the array let's do continue uh, so we're not doing anything in uh, in this uh, iteration mm, and we're going to continue to the next element okay so let's see if that's going to solve the issue of uh, uh, the fact that we can have the same elements uh, of the array okay that looks much better so the solution has been accepted uh, and then let's, let's see the third one third one should be fine six uh, can we do run the code from here yes okay and accept it let's try to made up our own so four seven two four nine one and then let's come up with uh, let's do it five and let's say we want uh, 12 invalid test case oh yeah okay so the solution has to be unique yeah so because of 12 we can have three and nine we can have five and seven yeah that's not um, 
what the problem is about we need to have only one solution so I think if we uh, if we keep the uh, array in the order should be only one solution five and seven yeah and that works so now once we kind of confident uh, that uh, the solution is uh, valid we can submit it um, let's have a look if we can uh, rectify the code somehow the probably the way we could rectify it is uh, let, we can probably move this indexes and then just use H and I uh, here uh, let's see if that's gonna work yeah so yeah already the code is uh, better much better and shorter without it um, yeah I would probably leave it that way but uh, if you have any other ideas how uh, this can be done or you have simpler solution or uh, you would have done something differently in this code please let me know in the in the comments section below the video so let's try to submit it yeah and a success so yeah that means that we've solved the problem successfully okay that's great and so in about 16 minutes we were able to solve that PHP easy problem which is not too bad I think so yeah that's great uh, another uh, challenge tomorrow so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye